In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the Pokemon API. Throughout this tutorial, I'll be using a free application called Postman that allows you to easily make API calls. Once you have it installed and everything set up, this is what it will look like. In this specific example, we will be making an API call that will get back all the data for Pikachu. Now we send the request, and this is the response that we get back. If we look at the results, we can see all of Pikachu's abilities, as well as its height, uh, its ID, and many other pieces of data about Pikachu. So to get started making your own Pokemon API calls, we can start by looking at the documentation. If I switch back to my browser and go back to this link and then click on API v2, we can now see like all the information regarding this API. And the first API call we'll look at is the one that I made in the example, which is under the Pokemon section. And then click on Pokemon again. This specific Pokemon API call will return all of the data related to a specific Pokemon, and these are exact fields that it returns. So you can get useful information such as its abilities, its moves, images of the Pokemon, as well as all the other fields that you see here. To make this API call, we can just click back on the section, and at the very top is a URL that we can just copy. Once we have it copied, we can switch back to Postman and just create a new request and just make sure it says get. I already have mine right here, like I showed in the example. At this point, you can just type in any Pokemon name at the very end of this URL, just like I did in the example. But I'll just change it to show you again. This time I'll do Charmander and hit send. And as you can see, you can now see all of the information that relates back to Charmander, such as its abilities, its name, and everything else that we saw in the previous API call. The next API call I want to show will show you the detailed abilities of a specific Pokemon. If we switch back to the documentation, and on the left hand side here under Pokemon, we can just click on abilities. This specific endpoint will give us a very detailed explanation of all the Pokemon's abilities. If we scroll down here and we look at all of the properties that returns, we can see things such as like the ability's name, as well as like a description of each of the abilities as well. Just like in the previous API call, we can just click on the section and then here is a URL that we can just copy and load into Postman. I already have mine set up, but you'll just do the exact same thing like we did before and just paste the API call and just replace the very last field with the name of the ability. In this example, I'll just be doing the ability name static and I'll just hit send. And now we can see all of the details that relate to this specific ability, such as the description of the ability and in different languages, as well as like the Pokemon that have this specific ability. For the next example, I will show you how to make an API call to get information about items in Pokemon. If we switch back to the browser and on the left hand side, just click on the section that says items. If we scroll down, we can see all of the information that we can get back relating to items, such as the cost of the item, a description of an item, as well as images of the items. So to make this call, we can just go back up here and just copy this exact URL, switch back to Postman. And I already have my example set up here, but you would just paste the URL they just copied and just fill in the ID or name here at the very end. But I'll just switch back to the example that I had, which was Master Ball. Now I'll make the request. And as you see here, we see the information that I talked about previously, such as the cost, the description of the item, as well as every other property that was mentioned in the documentation. For the very last example, I will show you how to make an API call to get back to different versions of Pokemon. If we switch back to the browser and on the left hand side, just click on games and click on version. If we look at the properties, we can see things such as like the name of the specific version of Pokemon that we're searching for. If we copy the URL here and go to Postman and just create a new request and make sure to paste in the URL that we just copied, just make sure to switch the placeholder at the end with either the ID or name. In this case, I'll just do one and hit send. As you can see from the results, this ID of one represents Pokemon Red. If we were to switch this to say like four, this represents Pokemon Gold. So this API call could be very useful if you want to list out all the possible Pokemon versions that have ever existed. I believe it goes up to 39, which represents the most latest Pokemon game. And that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you have a much better understanding of how the Pokemon API works now. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.